welcome back to my channel today i'm here with my sephora haul y'all usually when the sephora sale comes around i never know what to buy and i end up not spending a lot of money but this time i really feel like i went over started if it's your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button. what i'm going to do is do all skincare at one time makeup then fragrance just because i don't want the video to be all over the place and i will try to have time stamp below well at least i'll have a time stamp for skincare and makeup and fragrance just in case if you don't want to see everything that i purchased but anyway y'all let's just get right into today's video. okay so first product that i picked up that's a skincare product is from innisfree and it's actually a sunscreen this is the mattifying version they have another sunscreen and that's the one that I typically use all the time I really like that one just because I don't experience any type of breakouts with that one so I want to try this matte version of it being that the weather is about to get a little warmer and I have oily skin and I need all mattifying products during us hotter months so um, I picked this up I actually been wanting to try this out for a while and I believe this retails for about $15 so I'm hoping I will end up liking this one as much as I like the regular um formulated uh, sunscreen by Innisfree and this is SPF 37 so I picked up the glow recipe vitamin C serum this is a repurchase for me I have repurchased this several times at this point my third or fourth um, bottle of this serum and it, again this is excellent if you have dark spots on your face um, and you see results right away I know some products say you got to use them six to eight weeks or six to twelve weeks I feel like you see results with this in like two weeks and I'm not exaggerating like when I use this I see a big difference in my skin versus me not using it so this I will highly highly recommend if you're looking for a good vitamin C. So I seen that glow recipe came out with this strawberry smooth BHA plus AHA salicylic serum so I wanted to pick this up. Um, salicylic is excellent if you have oily acne prone skin which is my skin type and I've been liking a lot of glow recipe um, products so I picked this up as well this is what that looks like so I'm excited to try this. I picked up is from pharmacy this is their honey potion plus ceramide hydration mask and I was watching Kay's Way's video um, a while ago one of her videos and she talked about this mask so I just decided to pick it up this is supposed to be good for like hydrating your skin um, I have oily skin but I don't mind putting a lot of uh, hydration back into my skin at night especially if I've been wearing makeup a lot and scrubbing your face and doing different exfoliating treatments kind of dry out your skin so that's why I picked this up and in general I've always heard good things about this but for some reason when uh, Kay's Waves was talking about and I just was like you know what let me try this out so um, I will keep y'all updated on this whether I like it or not I finally did just go ahead and get the full size of the Dr. Dennis Gross daily pill I've been buying minis of these for like the last two months because I was dead set on I'm not spending $80 on this and being once the sale came around I just was like you know what you really like these so why not quit buying a little mini size that you're going to run through so I just went ahead and got these since I I was able to get 20% off. I really like these. Um, let me open it up and show y'all. Like a two-step exfoliant. You use step one. You rub that all over your face for two minutes and then you neutralize it with step two. These are great if you have um, oily, acne-prone skin. Highly, highly recommend these. I did pick up one cleanser and this is the Paula's Choice Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. I've been eyeing this for a while so I just decided to get it. This is another product that is supposed to be great for oily skin. Oh, I did get one eye cream and I got the Sephora for firming eye cream and this is kind of small I don't know why I expected this to be big looks like this is supposed to be great for fine lines so I just figured I would give this to try is from Sephora collection so you already know it wasn't that much money so I'm excited to try this out just because you know I have some fine lines under my eye. pick up a Sephora uh, pro foundation brush this is the number 47 this just caught my attention because this looks a lot like the morphe brush that i use a lot and actually it is not it's actually much smaller than what i expected it to be but this is what that looks like um sephora makes pretty good brushes so why not pick up one or a couple especially if you're in the market for a good brush but you don't want to spend a lot of money sephora makes really nice brushes hopefully y'all know that by now already next i picked up this one size cheek clapper 3d blush trio i wanted the um bronzer or this contour whatever it is but they didn't have the one that i actually wanted in store so i just was like you know what i'll get the blush and this is what the packaging looks like it looks really pretty 
and y'all know once I saw this blush palette I picked it up just because I love any type of orange or coral color blush this I was like I had to get it and y'all this is so pretty one's a shimmer this is a powder and this is a cream um, I might review this on my channel I'm not sure most likely I probably won't just because I didn't pick up the bronzer contour whatever it is so it probably really makes no sense to try to just review this on its own unless y'all want to see me review it then I picked will. up another powder from Huda Beauty even though I really didn't need another one but I did pick up the shade Blondie let's open this up I've been really liking the um shade Kanafa and I also have another shade I can't think of the exact name the deeper shade but I just really like these this powders. is what it looks like hopefully you guys can see it. um it's a little brighter than the shade Kanafa but um, I'm going to just be using this under my eye. And for some reason, they don't have this shade as a mini size, but they do have a couple. I would highly, highly recommend um, this powder. If you don't want to invest in a full size, definitely try out a mini. You will not be disappointed. If you have very oily skin, you would really love um, this powder. And I did pick up a few different foundations. Not that I needed <laughs> any more foundation, but I did pick up another um, Armani Luminous Silk foundation and this time i got the shade 11.75 this is described as i believe medium deep with the peach undertone and i just got the mini size that's what that looks like y'all already know this has become one of my favorite foundations. so i did pick up another um dior foundation this time i got the forever skin glow just because i don't really like the new form the um new formulated matte foundation I don't like that. I feel like they should have left that one alone. So I'm going to try this out, see if I like it a lot better. If not, then this will be going back to the store. And I will not be reviewing this at all, just in case if someone asks me, I'm not going to review this. But um, yeah, and this one, I picked up the shade 5W. I could have swore I was trying to pick 5N, but somehow I ended up with 5W, which it doesn't um, matter. Hopefully, this is not orange like the other um, foundation. Also I picked had. up another. Um, foundation from Valentino um the shade that I have now that I reviewed um on my channel I don't really like that shade anymore I feel like it looks a little too olive so I just was like you know what get another shade and try it out because that's one of the main reasons why I don't wear the one that I have just because I don't like the shade so in this one I picked up the shade DA3 and I swatched this when I was in Sephora and this is a much better shade match hopefully because sometimes when you under the lights it look one way then you get it home and it looks completely different but um yeah so that's what I got. I also picked up this Kosas um foundation. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. A couple of you guys have asked me do I like it and I couldn't give you guys an answer because I never tried it out and the reason why I didn't rush to get this is because I tried out the Kosas. I think it's like a skin tint with oil or something and I hate that skin tint so my dislike for that just made me feel like I don't want to try anything else from Kosas so, or Kosas however you say it anyway so. um this is what the packaging looks like and I picked up the shade 350 hopefully this matches even though looking at it in the bottle it looks like it is not going to match but we'll see and I'll keep y'all updated on whether or not I like it and also I did pick up a backup of the YSL lash class mascara um i've really been loving this mascara a lot it's pretty affordable for ysl it's only 29 dollars um so i just wanted to have a backup this is what the packaging looks like i like how this really lengthens and it also gives you volume even though this is just supposed to be like um a lengthening mascara but i really feel like it do both so and i also picked up this new concealer from lawless um by the time you see this video the review should be up on my channel and if you have watched that review then you know i do not like this concealer this is actually going back to the store but i will have my review for that link Got another below. refillable lipstick by dior and this is in the shade 300 let's do a quick swatch of this online this just looked like a pretty nude color that looks like swatched on my hand um, I really like Dior um, matte lipsticks. Y'all know that by now if you're familiar with my channel. So when I seen that this um, shade was available on Sephora's website, I was like, I'm getting it. And I also picked up one of these lip maximizers um, from Dior. I always wanted to try one. I picked up the shade 004 Coral. Um, if you did not know, this is a lip plumper. This is what that looks like. 
So I'm excited to try this out because I've always wanted to try one of these. I just never went out my way to get one. And I also got one of these YSL um, Slim Matte Lipsticks. And the shade I got is 313. I've been looking at this shade for a long time and every time I went to purchase it, it was sold out on Sephora's website. So somehow, some way, I was able to get my hands on it. This is what the packaging looks like. Out of, um, packaging. And this is like a nice orange um, shade. Y'all know I love orange lipsticks. That's what that looks now, like. I also picked up another matte lipstick from Gucci. Y'all know how I feel about these. And this shade is Ruby Firelight. I don't ever remember seeing this shade before. So when I seen it, I was like, I have to have it. This is what that looks like. It looks kind of orange. It almost looks like the shade Agatha Orange, but not as bright. Looks like swatched on my hand. That's what that looks like. And I also picked up two more lip balms from Summer Fridays. I'm not going to open these up just because I feel like this video has been going on for too long. The fragrance I picked up is this Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. I've had my eyes on this for a while. I actually wore this already, and to me, this just smells so good i love this i'm not even gonna try to describe fragrances to y'all just because i'm not great at it but this smells really really because my camera is starting to overheat so that means i need to shut up and just get to the point Fragrance i picked up is the new uh giorgio armani c passione i Eclat or whatever it's called. Um, they just came out with the version similar to this last year. This is the new one. I heard that this is supposed to have a very strong rose note in it. That's why I picked it up because rose is like one of my favorite notes and fragrances. So that's why I have it. The fragrance I picked up is Lotus Pear by The Seven Virtues. This smells really good. This is a fresh, clean scent. I love the pear note in it. This is something different to add to my fragrance collection. Now, I've used this a couple times since I picked it up. I used this over the weekend. This smells good, but it doesn't last long. This is not like a beast mode fragrance, but I really like how it smells. It's fresh and clean. It. My camera is about to overheat. I can actually see it starting to get very dim. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all let me know. Um, have you tried any of the things I picked up? And also, y'all let me know some of the things you picked up during the sale. And y'all don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.